I'm Naisha McCauley, and you're watching AccessTV.org. We're here tonight at the 100 Men of Color celebration and awards ceremony, just taking time out to have a positive impact on all in the community who can see wonderful men of color who have done great things. Can you introduce yourself for our many viewers out there on AccessTV.org? My name is Cecil Hudson. Cecil, can you tell us a little bit about yourself and how you feel about being honored here this evening? Because there are a lot of young people who aspire to have various careers in the community and many of them don't know how to get there. But let's start out with hearing a little bit more about you first. <laughs> well, born and raised in Hartford, Connecticut, so I am a, a native. Uh, I've worked in corporate America for over 30 years. Very, very involved in the community through a variety of different organizations. As far as being part of this event, I'm just very, very humbled. I mean, the organizers decided to choose 100 men, but what's great about the greater Harvard community, there's more than 100. There's many, many, many of us. So the ones that weren't selected this evening will be selected in future years. So there's a lot for our youth to draw from relative to men that they can look up to. So I'm just really humbled and honored to be one of the first hundred, but look forward to many more of these events to come. What do you think that people who don't know much about Hartford or only hear the things that aren't as positive need to know about the real city of Hartford and the people that are here working every day, struggling to make sure that they mm -hmm. put the best foot forward? Well, the one thing that I would say is that there's a wealth of treasures within the Harvard area. And unfortunately, I don't want to blast the media, but what makes the news is a sensational. What makes the news are often the negative aspects. But I remember a time back when I was in high school, I went to school in West Hartford, where people were talking about Hartford. And I said, well, have you ever been there? And I remember taking three non-African American people in my car and giving them a tour and showing them the North End, the South End, the West End, and letting them know that what you see on TV is not necessarily what Harvard is all about. They came out of that with a greater appreciation. I'm not saying that there's not areas that, I'm not saying that Harvard doesn't have, have its troubles like other cities, but overall, it's a great city. It's a wonderful city. And people have to base their knowledge and the opinion relative to Harvard on what they experience, what they may see on TV. Not what they've heard exactly. second or third hand. Exactly. So, you know, make sure that you know within every community there are obstacles and challenges, but there are also opportunities. So we want to thank you for taking some time out to thank talk you. with us this evening. Thank you. And like you said, there's so many more to come behind you. And so we want to ask you to make sure you're a part of inspiring that Absolutely. next generation. Absolutely. Thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you. Hi everyone, my name is Yonisha Lindsay and you're watching accesstv.org.